Hey there, real third graders. Welcome to another episode of art. We've been very busy making a lot of things. We made that kitty cat. We made the car last week. We've uh, made the abstract witch, Indian corn, jack o' lantern, scarecrow. Today we're going to be creating a little cartoon drawing. The cartoon drawing is going to be of a Holstein. A Holstein cow. To start, I have my handy dandy art card. And turn it horizontal, which means flat, vertical, horizontal. And I want to make a shape kind of like an oval. Here's about the middle. Off to the side, about in the middle there is a large oval circle. Next, on that oval circle, I'm going to go ahead and make the two little nose holes. And it is a cartoon, so we're definitely going to be outlining things on this little guy. Make his happy little mouth. He's a happy little cow. All he has is a mouth. That's all he has is a mouth. Right now. So he's happy about that. I'm glad I have a mouth. Can't even draw a simple curve here today. And then he's got a little... Comes down there. Alright, there's my little cartoon mouth. Next step, I'm going to make a bump for like his, this part of his head is the same shape as me, kind of curves. I'm going to go about, about here, curve up like that, curve it back down, and then inside of it I'm going to draw these two oval eye shapes, pretty big, a little eyelash, eyelid, circles for the eyes. Next, I want to make his little horns. They're going to be kind of curving. Also, the top of the page. He's got little ears on the side. They kind of flop out. Flippity floppity ears. People don't really notice cow's ears very much. Or look at the horns or look at the face, their nose. People always forget about the ears. Next, I'm going to make. In between his horn and his ear, I'm going to make a curve that comes down, and then I'm going to make a, a bump. That's for his rump. A bump for the rump. Make a little bit of a line coming from his head for his neck. So you can see his cartoon. He's got like a short little body, and he's got short little legs. I guess it's going to be a girl. Next, I'm going to curl the tail. And I'm going to draw the hairs on that tail. There we go. Looks like, a, looks like a little ratty tail. Next, I'm going to make his front foot right, just coming down right here. And the little cartoon hose are not too bad. So it's kind of like upside down V. That's not too hard at all. Next, I'm going to make that back leg. There it is. There it is. Make the line for his body. Curls around his belly. Okay, okay. Now we need to draw his. I'm going to make his udder. So it's a girl. It's a milk cow. The Holstein is a milk cow. So this is where the milk comes from. Little udders. It also feeds little babies. Next, I'm going to draw the front leg here. Those front legs are not too bad. Okay. Short little guy. I want to make some spots now. I'm going to leave his face white. I'm going to make a spot here. Spot here, spot here, spot there. That looks pretty good. Make a line for my horizon line. Let's 
shows where the sky touches the ground. So my cow mostly is going to be a lot of black. I'm going to make his nose up kind of pink. I'm going to use my mauve and using it I'm going to just lightly color it in. I don't want it to be terribly brightly colored or anything so I'm gonna give her a little bit of makeup on her eyes. A little bit of little eyelet. So I'm gonna put a little pink up there just for fun. Her horns. Gosh, should the horns be yellow? I'm just gonna to touch the yellow a little bit. I don't want it to be bright yellow. And I am ready to start outlining everything and start coloring in. So I've got black now. I'm gonna start coloring in and outlining I guess I could even give this cow some eyelashes yep I just did it yepper the mouth black Others, I guess I need to make them pink. The happy little cow. It's amazing when I hold it up to that screen, I can see a different perspective. I can see some things that I've missed. When you're looking at something up close, a long time you just can't really see things. Now I get to decide what kind of a day is it going to be here. I like this lime green. Try to do a little gradation here, show off. Press hard, I'm gonna get light. that. Now, I need to finish it off here. I need to make some nice happy clouds.
Blue is a very relaxing color. So is green. Blue and green, those are cool colors. They're relaxing. They make people feel good because they're relaxing colors. They actually change. It can help humans feel better. So that's why sometimes some people really like to just be outside. It makes them feel good. The colors around them. Look at this, nice and bright and happy. I look forward to seeing your cow posted on that art discussion so everyone can see it and uh, have a great day.